The overall goal of this procedure is to visualize the degradation of the steady state population of a specific protein in Saccharomyces cerevisiae. This method can be used to determine the genetic requirements for and environmental effects on the degradation of a protein of interest. The main advantage of this technique is that radioactive isotopes and lengthy immunoprecipitation steps are not required, unlike pulse chase techniques, which are also used to visualize protein degradation. This procedure can be used to analyze either an endogenous yeast protein or a protein expressed from a plasmid. For the latter, the yeast strain is transformed with a plasmid encoding the protein of interest following a standard yeast transformation protocol. Inoculate the yeast in 5 milliliters of appropriate medium. Incubate overnight at 30 degrees Celsius with rotation. On the following morning, Measure the optical density at 600 nanometers, or OD600, of each overnight culture. Dilute the cultures to an OD600 of 0.2 in 15 milliliters of fresh medium. Incubate at 30 degrees Celsius with shaking until the cells reach mid-logarithmic growth phase. While the yeast cells are growing, prepare for the cyclohexamide chase procedure. Set a heat block that can accommodate 15 milliliter conical tubes to 30 degrees Celsius for the incubation of cells in the presence of cyclohexamide. To ensure efficient heat distribution to the cultures, add water to each well of the heat block such that a 15 milliliter conical tube will cause the water level to rise to, but not overflow, the lip of the well. Set a second heat block.